Let's take a look at what's trending after hours. We got four stocks for you here. CSX Corp. We also have First Financial Bank Corp, PPG and Clorox. Kicking off with CSX Corp, the railroad operator out with results here. The stock moving to the upside up just about 3% here in extended trading. The company beating on both the top and bottom lines driven by higher volumes from its merchandise and coal divisions. They're also the higher fuel surge charge really helping the results. You can see year to date the stock just barely in the red on a one year basis. The stock off just about 12%. Let's kick it over to First Financial Bank Corp. That stock also on the move here after hours. You can see it up just about 3.7% right now in after hours trading. Now, this is a regional bank headquartered in Cincinnati here. The profit beat expectations. Also, total deposits was better than expected. We know such a critical number here, obviously. That's always the case, but very much in focus following the collapse of Silicon Valley Banking Signature Bank back in March. So taking a look at that number, that, that coming in better than expected, 12.81 billion First Financial Bank Corp was caught up a little bit in the selling that we did see throughout the regionals in the month of March. But again, in extended hours, up just about 3.7%. Flipping over to PPG, the manufacturer there, that stock up just about 2% here in extended trading, the paint and stain brands. That is what the company is known for here. Pretty solid numbers here, but it's all about the forecast when it comes to PPG. Second quarter profit forecast, and actually it's full year profit forecast, was also much higher than what the street was looking for here. Net sales of 4.38 billion was also a B. And rounding it out with Clorox, the company cutting jobs, not much moving here after hours, but the company announcing that it is cutting 200 positions. The second round of layoffs here for Clorox as the company really adjusts its business here, trying to improve margins, trying to get it back to the levels that we saw pre-pandemic. The company has raised prices a couple of times to deal with higher production costs. So trying to navigate a very, very tough time over the last five days, the stock up just about two and a half percent, Dave. Okay, Shauna, thank you.